All anyway. right, here we go. We are recording. Thank you. Well, thank you both for joining the Chaos Data Science Working Group. Uh, it's October 22nd, and our working group follows the Chaos Code of Conduct. And if you have any questions about that, um, uh, please uh, let in, please ask anyone here and let us know. Um, we have a few items on our agenda today, um, including how to get involved in um, a few of our projects, which are on the uh, on the github.com slash chaos uh, slash data science working group uh, github repo. Um, I saw, Greg, that you crossed out the Greg has auger questions for Sean, and you may, you all may have uh, reviewed that la last meeting. That right, well, yeah. Sean and I had a chat last meeting, and I don't think I have anything new. I opened the issue; I promised I would, but uh, oh. I'd, I, I've been on on holiday, so I haven't had a chance to catch up on my auger stuff. So I have nothing new to add to that just now. All right, uh, good. That's that's cool. We can set up a separate time too if you want, Greg. That's no problem. That could be cool. <clears throat> yeah. Um, the other thing is. Feel free to uh, answer the icebreaker question that we have. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Chan. Hi, Elizabeth. Goodness me, that is a tough question. <laughs> um, I think it's very situational. Right now, having just got back from a holiday, I suspect my favorite app might be Paperless, where I was storing all of our travel passes and documents so I could pull them out when I need them. <laughs> but I'm not sure that would be my usual answer. The app is called Paperless. So, um, yeah, it's it's both like mobile and self-hosted um, document management. So it's the usual things: take photos of things, add them to a document cloud, tag them, machine learning on them, so you know where they came from and what type of document they are, and all the rest of it. But it's all self-hosted, so um, so it runs under the stairs. And obviously, there's a client app, so you can take pictures of documents and things. It's very useful. That's great. I'll find a link for it. <laughs> I mean, by time spent, it's probably like my browser, but that's boring answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do like this, uh, the New York Times games as well. It's I think I like it better than the Apple games or the Apple Arcade that they have out. Yeah, me too. We do them like every day. I have like our... Yeah, my family, we all like then share our scores. We compete. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, my wife's big on that, yes. Well, thanks for sharing. Um, so we have some uh, project updates to go through today uh, for the event location inclusivity. That one, I think we paused that for, for a while. And Elizabeth, I think the last update was that you may have brought that to the DEI working group because we thought it may have better, it, it might live over there um, for a little bit before we, if, um, until we decide uh, to move forward with it. Yes, and I don't think we've had a chance to talk about it yet. It's been on the agenda. Um, we have a meeting this week, so I'll bring it back up again. We've just been focused on badging, so I will bring that back up again. I think we can probably just move it out of this meeting completely, like um, unless there's something uh, major that happens in the DEI working group to bring it back here. But I think we're good to go. Thank okay. you. Sounds good. Thank you. Uh, and then Kelly's not available for Project Exodus, um, but um, we did have quite a few people who were interested in uh, participating in that and from the Community Over Code conference that uh, Brian Prophet led and then I was able to attend that and uh, speak a little bit about chaos and so we had some folks interested in that project but I, I think I have to um, spend I have to figure out how to get the project to them or announce it to them um, so we can skip that uh, for the next round until Kelly joins back in Uh, and then for license changes and forks, um, Dawn actually presented this to the OSPO working group last week um, and got some pretty good feedback. She's also writing a research paper on it to present at Open Forum Academy next week on the Harvard campus. Um, so be on the lookout for that. There's a video on the talk 
And then if you click on this link, there are um, a whole readme on how you can um, be part of the project. Um, she actually just walked me through it and uh, there's there's quite a few things that we could potentially do with it, including using um, Auger and Grimoire Lab in pulling um, some additional data. So if anyone's interested in learning more about this project, um, doing some analysis or just um, getting involved in whatever way you'd like, uh, please reach out to Dawn or myself. Oh, and sorry, I didn't realize I thought I was sharing my screen. And there's this one. Okay, uh, she put in some interesting data. Um, did you all talk about package URLs at the last um, meeting? I don't think so, but we did, but briefly. Okay. I remember you bringing it up because it was new to me, which is why I'm like, oh, yes, yes, we did. Okay. Anything else to share on that note or? Okay. And then thank you for the reminder for daylight savings happening in two weeks. Um, well, it's happening uh, in five for days for the European folk. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, Greg, this is, Welcome. This is gonna be <laughs> <laughs> Welcome Next to your, your twice yearly two weeks of chaos. Yeah. <laughs> so. Not this chaos, the calendar chaos. The so. bad chaos. The not yeah. good chaos. <laughs> One week in the fall, two weeks in the spring. Yeah. And right. it's because we have to be special over here in the United States. Um, unless you're my old boss and you don't change daylight time by living in Arizona and that then creates six months of chaos. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, Greg, this will mostly affect you, I think, um, but cause, because this, this uh, is tied to US Central time, so we will change on the third. Um, so yeah. Elizabeth, so does that mean we're keeping this time um, even with the change? Yes. So, yes. So, well, no, um, let me take a step back. So this meeting will not change for the three of us um, because we are in the States. So it will be the same. It's everybody else that it affects. But it's a bi-weekly meeting, so it won't move at yeah. all. I'll just check my calendar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah I forgot about that. It's, yeah. It's that, only one week, week of, <laughs> next week, everything will be off for our European and other colleagues who don't shift on the weird US cycle. Sorry, Greg. No, it makes no difference because it's only for one week. So this call is not affected. But I thank you for the heads up anyway. <laughs> all the other chaos meetings, too. If you do show up to any of the others, um, yeah, they're all going to be all kind of out of whack. And some of the regional ones are tied to the time zone in that region. So like the Africa ones are tied to West Africa time, which does not do daylight saving. So yeah, it's, it's a community manager's nightmare, really. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we get the big bucks. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um, any other topics you all want to talk about? I have a question. Is anyone going to be at All Things Open next week? I won't be. Okay. Yeah. Do you, is there, okay. does Chaos have a booth? We do. Yeah, so I was going to say if anybody wants a sticker, come by the booth and get a sticker. Or if you want to do booth duty, that's also cool. Um, but that's okay. I'll keep that I to think, myself. I think we'll have colleagues there, but I won't be. I don't generally travel to the US much. So. Um, but I will be I will be at Fostem for Chaos. I believe there'll be a Chaos Con before Fostem, so I should there be will. for that. There will. Oh, there will. Yeah. We I did open registration. Yeah, let me. Oh, let is me the registration open already? Darn, I better get onto that. It is. We just we're just announcing it um, today at the weekly meeting, which is right after this meeting. So here's a link to oh the gosh. special insider page. access. <laughs> right. Mm. Yeah. Right. Pays to know, yeah. fella, huh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> we it's are also going to have a 
Oh, sorry, Chan, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Go oh, ahead. No, go ahead. You probably are going to answer my question. I was just going to say we are going to have a CFP this time. Sometimes we don't. We just have discussions and whatnot. But we are going to have a CFP, which should open in the next few days. So if you're interested in submitting something, we uh, I'll be happy to set, share that with this group. Oh, thank you. Um, Elizabeth, is there also, um, so Chaos Con is going to be at FOSDEM, and then I think you all posted something else about a false backstage as well. Is that? Um, I don't know about that. Um, okay. So I know, I do know, I will say two things. So one is that this conference is on Thursday. So uh, just keep that in mind if you are going to go, that it's two days before FOSDEM, not the day before. And that's so that we don't conflict with other things that are happening on that Friday, right before FOSDEM. Um, we are listed in the fringe, in the FOST, uh, FOSDEM fringe events. Um, but then the second thing I wanted to bring up is that we will also be at State of Open Con in uh, London the few days after. So um, if anybody's going to be at that, then connect with us for sure again. Get a sticker. Yeah, I need to go and research that. I've never been able to go to State of Open because normally I do FOSDEM and some of the fringe events that happen after it. And this year I'm planning to skip the second half of the fringe, come to the first half of the fringe with you guys, um, which would then leave me free the following week. So I'm like, yeah, it's a super interesting conference. If you've never made it, um, it's a it's a really interesting mix of um, companies um, and also there's a lot of like policy and government uh, interaction too. That like, seems to be a big deal there. So um, it's just a really cool event. I really enjoyed it last year. Um, I highly recommend mm -hmm. A plus A plus plus plus. So all right, good to know. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Elizabeth. All right, final call for any other items. Oh, it was great catching up with you all. Um, we will link back up in two weeks after the time zone madness and um, I look forward to seeing you all again. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks, Jan. <clears throat> yeah, you too, Jan. Thanks for facilitating. Yeah, thanks See you later. Have a good one.